Good morning, Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine, here with Mercury Racing at the Miami International Boat Show 2022. I'm here with Tony Chermonte of Hi, PCB Performance Boats. Tony, how are you doing today? Everything's really good, man. Ever, are, uh, doing really well. Just really, really stoked to be here. Uh, had a long trek out here, got our new model here. We're excited about it. And just want to thank Mercury Racing indefinitely for having us here and uh, the opportunity to show this thing off. So we've got, we're standing on this beautiful new, brand new, M37R all the way from California. Yes, sir. Tell us about it. Um, well, we had some great customers. Uh, we were going to build this for a demo boat, and we ended up kind of uh, working a deal with Greg and Yvonne, which great people to have out here. The boat's going to live here, so it'll be a Fort Lauderdale, Miami boat all the time. So we'll be good to go. And uh, But we're stoked to have them in it, stoked to have the boat here. So we loaded it up. There's a few extra options that they ended up doing, um, but uh, just I just wanted to show you guys a few things um, of our boat, kind of how it's different. So we tried to take our West Coast fit finish flare and put it into more of the East Coast style boat, you guys. Uh, you know, a lot of people from our side of the country like to kind of more hang out in the boat and have an opportunity to sit and rest or maybe this and that instead of a point A to point B. So we got the steps back here. We have a lot more room storage for all your stuff. So you can really make a day boat out of it. So, I mean, the uh, like you mentioned, the fit and finish is just amazing, right? So it's, yeah. it's the West Coast flare. Tell us about the uh, what you got going on in the in the cockpit. Yep. So we you guys we 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 did a lot of homework, a lot of research, and so we kind of did the whole layout where we wanted it to flow and have curves, but you got to have flat spots to mount everything. So the dash is a nice one-piece mold, which we'll get in there and I'll show you. The side pad, the gunnel pads, everything's kind of recessed and flush. Cockpit's 89 inches wide, so it's got plenty of room for everybody. You can walk around the seats really well. Um, but yeah, it's, we just tried to make it to where everything's very reachable, comfortable. You don't have to really extend yourself. We did all our electronics and battery switches are in the glove box on the port side of the boat. It's all accessible and, and you can see it really well. Uh, yeah, it's very, everything's high tech. We got all the new stuff in here, all the new battery switching and everything's electric. Uh, you know, of course the engines, you know, there's no cables. It's all fly by wire now. So the technology's there. Tony, this this uh, this model was introduced in August of 2020. Yes, right? sir. Yep. And uh, what number is this? Well, boy, we're excited, you guys. We have uh, this is hole number nine in the water, and um, I got uh, a little over 20 ahead of it. So it's it's been a very popular debuting model that's really done well for us. Pretty uh, happy, yeah. It's your best-selling model. At this yeah, point, yeah. Right? At this point in time, especially because the outboards. I mean, we have other boats in in the in the production line as well, but this is this one's obviously leading the pack. So as far as the outboards go, uh, you guys, uh, standard is the 450R. Yeah, that's what, so the boat, boat space price is with the 450Rs. Um, the STR brackets, we use the Paragon, the Chantrani brackets on every boat, um, the Mercury CNC cleavers, so that's kind of all encompassed in the base price of the boat. We, and another thing too, you guys, we don't have an option, which other people have a carbon foam option, that's just our boat. So every single one of these is all 100% carbon, 100% foam layup. As you can see on the sign there, you guys, they've, they've been coming anywhere from 57 to 6,000 pounds dry, and that's where we want them to be. And uh, they run really good, you guys, super solid. They don't make any noise. There's no rattles. So it's a really, really good riding boat. Yeah, we've been in this boat, uh, not this particular boat, but in other M37s, they're just rock solid. Yeah, thank this you. This is DCB's first true tunnel boat? Yes, it is. Yep. yep. And then, so tell us about the performance with the 450 package. What have you seen? Um, we've seen over 130. Um, I've seen over over one, 130 plus on all of them, but that, you know, you're putting some big props on it. So I like a 34 to 36. They'll run 125 to 130 with those propellers. So it runs really good. It's super, fantastic. super agile, and it turns really well, too. So the owners of this boat are Greg, uh, Greg Harris and Yvonne Aliman. Yep. Very well known on the Poker Run circuit, and they're everywhere. So uh, you're going to be joining them next week on the yes. Florida Power Boat. Club. Yeah, looking right. forward to that. Yep. We have uh, this boat. I'll be riding with them, and we have uh, another customer that came out, too, which is cool. We got a 44 coming out to do the Poker Run next week, too. So they are a couple that uh, are engaged and they always run the boats together. Uh, Greg throttles and Yvonne drives and you guys have done something special for them with this boat. Yes, we did. So uh, I always joke and say, you know, that kind of thing, if you don't like the way I drive here, you take the wheel, well, you can literally do that. <laughs> so the, that's got a switchable helm. We do is Imco steering. They're out of, uh, out of Nevada. So you can actually take the wheel of the dash here and put it on the starboard side. And then we ended up taking the Mercury uh, shipped in throttle and we put our we put two throttle heads in it with a trim button so you can trim it from either side of the throttles as well fantastic yeah so course, it's really nice of course they have the headsets so they can oh yeah tell each other oh yeah, yeah we'll talk we'll just say talk, talk to each other yeah um and then there's ample uh walkways around the yeah boat. so what we did is obviously the steps you guys even when you're getting gas you know i wanted to kind of show off how you can 
we wanted to kind of make a circle around the boat. So the sea deck, you can just step all the way around the boat. We put the fuel fills on one side so you can, when you pull up to the dock, you can fill both tanks from one side of the boat. Put plenty of storage in you guys. So here, you know, we got plenty of storage in here. It opens up and it's all the way through. So I think we have more storage and I think we're gonna make a good footprint with the fit and finish and everything. All the fenders go back here. We have a special storage for that. So everything's very, very accessible and easy to get to. Sure. I understand that you're one of two performance ma uh, manufacturers uh, approved by the N. Yes, N that is it. Yeah. So there's two high performance manufacturers that are approved, and we do our thing. We got to take a class every year. We got to get certified. And and Paul Miller, our general manager at the shop, accredited to him. He's uh, he's the guy that does all that, keeps us in check. Everything from our wiring, our gas tanks, lamination, the electrical system, the fuel system, it's all NMMA certified. Yep. Tell us about the production process of the building. Um, we, uh, so like I said, this one's all carbon and foam, but every one of our boats, we use all composite materials and every one of our boats, hatches, small parts, everything we do is vacuum infused. So it's all state of the art, you guys. I think we're doing everything that everyone else is doing, maybe even at some points better. So it's, yeah, it's, it's all state of the art what we do. Absolutely. Yep. Especially with the 450 package, you know, with the torque of it, it just takes off like a yeah. chip. Right? Yeah, it just pushes itself on plane and great mid-range, like you say, you know, propping it. Yeah, to where it's at good mid range and you can get out of the get out of trouble if you need to. It's it's a great setup. So sure. and then this uh, this boat you can't see it now because it's on water, but it's a, it sits on top of micro trailer. Yep, yep, all aluminum micro trailer. We send the trailer. Most of our customers do a couple. Uh, there's a trailer company in Havasu called Adrenaline. We send the trailer to there. We kind of put our custom drive guard on it, running lights, put more lights on it, and they do a really nice ladder on the front, so it's easy to get on and off. It's immaculate. I mean, all the bells and whistles that, that you see on the trailer is just top notch, especially when it's traveling at night. Yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. Yep, looks good for the show factor. That's yeah. that's what's cool, you guys. We've taken, try to take our West Coast flair that some people think is ridiculous, but. I think it's making a pretty good impression out here on the east side of the country, so we're stoked. Yeah, people are like, oh, you did this, you did that, so it's been, yesterday was a really good day for this boat. Awesome. Looking forward to the weekend. All right, Tony, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, guys. Good seeing you guys out here, too. Good to see people from the uh, west side of the country out here. So, yeah, here's to a good show, you guys. Thank you for having us. This is Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine for Mercury Racing, signing off.